let's talk about chinchilla cage items. The first item we're going to be talking about is food bowls. You want to make sure your food bowl is made of a chinchilla safe material such as glass, metal or ceramic. You want to make sure your bowl is unable to be tipped over, so you want to have a metal coop cups type style of bowl that can be attached to the side of the cage, or you want to have a ceramic bowl that is heavy enough to not be tipped over. Next is chinchilla hideys. You want to make sure these are made of chinchilla safe material such as wood, metal or ceramic. You also want to make sure that you have one high deep per chinchilla so they have their own space. You also want to make sure they're appropriate size for your chinchilla. Next is ledges. You want to make sure your ledges are made of a chinchilla safe wood such as kiln dried pine. You want to make sure they're also sturdy enough to hold the weight of your chinchilla. Next are hammocks. Hammocks aren't necessary in your chinchilla's cage, but they are a really cute add-on. Some chinchillas don't really like sleeping in hammocks, but others do, like my girls. My girls love their hammocks and it's so cute watching them sleep in them. If you are going to give your chinchilla a hammock, just make sure that it's made using a chinchilla safe material, such as non tilt fleece. Also make sure that your hammock is a sufficient size for your chinchilla to fit it on it comfortably. The next item is a chinchilla tile slab. And no, I'm not talking about the animal. A chinchilla is a tile slab that you can place in your chinchilla's cage to keep them cool. These are especially useful if you don't have air conditioning and you need a way to cool down your chinchilla in the summer. You can place these in the fridge to make them even cooler, but to be honest, they're pretty cool to the touch anyway. Some chinchillas love these, others don't, but I still think it's a really important thing to have in your cage, just as another way for your chinchilla to cool down. You don't necessarily just have to purchase the chinchilla brand, you can just purchase any tile slab and it will do the trick. The next item is a hay rack. Hay racks help hold your chinchilla's hay and prevent it being soiled. I would recommend staying away from wire hay racks though, as your chinchilla's limbs can get caught in these. For this reason, I would recommend wooden hay racks, especially ones with the holes similar to the ones shown on screen, as this prevents your chinchilla's limbs getting caught. Or if you don't want to use a hay rack, you can just put your chinchilla's hay in a glass pyrex dish or another container that is safe for chinchillas or just on the floor. If you do, the, do this though, just be aware that you'll probably have to switch out the hay a bit more as it will get sold quite quickly. The next item is a water bottle. Water bottles can come in glass or plastic. If you are using a plastic water bottle, just make sure that you get a metal guard to prevent your chinchilla chewing it. I would also recommend glass as it harbours less bacteria than plastic. If you do have a water bottle, you need to make sure that your water is changed regularly. Every day or every other day is preferred. And you should not get water bottles for chinchilla as it is an open source of water and the chinchilla should not get wet. Final thing is toys. Toys provide vital enrichment for your chinchilla. You can buy lots of chinchilla to save toys on the internet. I get a lot of my chinchillas toys from the chinchillalady.co.uk as I think she has really good prices and all her toys are really really cute. I love seeing my chinchillas play with toys, I've got a huge collection. I can go through my chinchillas toys in a separate video if you guys want. They come in lots of different styles and in lots of different materials. My girls especially love fine toys and toys that contain pumice. So that is the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and turning notifications on so you're notified whenever I upload a video. I hope you learned something and as always, have an amazing day.